Mama, I'm sorry. No one told me you were here. Oh, damn, such a glare. I feel as if I were on stage at the Gaiety. We're used to it. I do wish you'd let me install it in the Dower House. It's very convenient. The man who manages the generator could look after yours as well. No, I couldn't have electricity in the house. I wouldn't sleep a wink. All those vapours seeping about. Even Cora won't have it in the bedroom. She did wonder about the kitchens, but I couldn't see the point. Do your neighbours have one? Yes, they do. In London, anyway. Well, it seems very wise to get a telephone now. If there is a war, it may be very hard to have one installed in a private house. Well, let me show you where we're going to put it. Oh. First electricity, now telephones. Sometimes I feel as if I were living in a, an H.G. Wells novel. But the young are also calm about change, aren't they? Is this your first experience of jazz, Lady Grantham? Oh, is that what it is? Do you think any of them know what the others are playing? Do you think Robert has thrown in the towel prematurely? What am I sitting on? A uh, swivel chair. Oh, another modern brainwave? Well, not very modern. They were invented by Thomas Jefferson. Why does every day involve a fight with an American? I'll fetch a different one. No, 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 no. I'm a good sailor. If we don't respect the past, we'll find it harder to build our future. Why did you read that? I made it up. I thought it was rather good. It's too good. The one thing we don't want is a poet in the family. Would it be so bad? The only poet peer I am familiar with is Lord Byron. And I presume we all know how that ended? Yes, yes. The minister. Well, how many Marquises of Fincher are there? Yeah. I say, is this an instrument of communication or torture? Yes. Hello? Shrimpy? Yes, it's on violet. Yeah, very well, very... Yeah. And Susan? Yeah. Good. Good. I won't beat about the bush, dear. Whom might we know on the board of Leeds General Infirmary? Seems rather unlikely to think of Spratt with a private life. Mm, yes, unlikely and extremely inconvenient. But you can't begrudge him that, surely. Servants are human beings, too. Yes. But preferably only on their days off. <laughs> In my day, a lady was incapable of feeling physical attraction until she'd been instructed to do so by her mamma. I don't believe that. Seriously, my dear. You have to take control of your feelings before they take control of you. A man has opened a nudist colony at Wickford in Essex. It's called the Manella Group. What do you mean a man's opened a colony in Essex? Not that sort of colony, Mama. It's for people who want to take all their clothes off. In Essex? Isn't it terribly damp? Would that make a difference? Oh, yes, if you had no clothes on. Well, I think it's a mad idea. I'm so looking forward to seeing your mother again. When I'm with her, I'm reminded of the virtues of the English. But isn't she American? Exactly. Is it an Irish tradition? What? She means not changing. Of course it isn't, Granny. It might have been. You don't change on the first night of a voyage. Rosamond has no interest in French. If she wishes to be understood by a foreigner, she shouts. That's not fair. Edith, have you written back to your editor yet? What's this? Edith has had an invitation to write a newspaper column. And when may she expect an offer to appear on the London stage? See? Daddy, please stick up for me. She looks like a slut. Oh, heavens. That's not a word you often hear among the heather. But Princess Mary has one just like it. It's the fashion now! Then it is a mad fashion, Aunt Violet, tell her. Oh, my dear, in my time I wore the crinoline, the bustle and the leg of mutton sleeve. I'm not in a strong position to criticise. Rose. Take Aunt Violet through to the ballroom. Now. Oh, dear. I'm afraid the war has made old women of us both. Oh, I wouldn't say that. But then I always keep out of the sun. <laughs> yeah, how'd you find Downton on your return? Much the same, really. Probably too much the same, but then I don't want to cast a pall over all the happiness. How could you ever do that? 
Really, Granny? How can you say that I'm too worldly, but Sybil's not worldly enough? You cannot be so contrary. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. <laughs>